Hi lovelies, welcome back. Well today we're talking about five stunning new season Louis Vuitton bags that I would buy in a heartbeat. So stick around. Well hello everybody, welcome back. You are so welcome. Today as you have seen we are talking about five of the newest Louis Vuitton bags, some from spring 2021. There's one from the end of 2020. Stunner, stunning bags. Obviously I don't have them in my collection. They are bags that if I didn't have any of my collection, I would buy in a heartbeat. Now, before we get going, I just wanna tell you about my fragrance of today, which is Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mal. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's rosy and fruity and it's powdery and beautiful. It's a stunning, stunning uh, fragrance. Got lots of spice in there as well. So that's what I'm wearing today. Now, without further ado, the first Louis Vuitton bag I want to talk about today. And I wanna use my phone and bring up the exact details of this bag because it's a stunner. It is, it's the since 1854 Vanity PM. I'll be putting up all the pictures and scrolling through with you so you guys can have a look as I'm talking about them. This bag, now as you know, I already have the Vanity PM, but this bag is stunning. It is, I'm not gonna buy it because obviously I have the original, but this bag is in a beautiful blue, almost like a denim blue color, and it has that contrast of the aged, um, the aged leather trim, which is brilliant because obviously it is going to be more durable. So basically for spring 2021, Nicholas Casquera crafts the Vanity, Vanity PM in a vibrant blue jacquard since 1854 textile. Trimmed with aged natural leather, the pattern combines 1854's The Year of the House founding with monogram flowers. It is comfortable to carry by hand and over the shoulder or crossbody thanks to its removable braided leather chain. The measurements of the bag are 19 is the length by 13 by 11 centimeters is the width. So it is blue and it is a stunning, stunning spring piece, I think. This bag comes in at 1,980 euro. I think it is a stunning piece and I think it'll be around, it's got kind of vintage vibes and I think that whole kind of the heritage behind it, you know, the 1854s that are, that are on the actual bag and it's not too in your face, I just think, I, I think it's beautiful. I really, really do. So moving on to, to number two, I want to talk about the Capucines Mini. Now, there is a running theme here because this bag is also since 1854 uh, textile. It is stunning. Here it is here. It is just beautiful. I think the contrast again, that blue almost denim against the gold hardware is so classy and so stunning. And the difference in this bag is this bag is calfskin leather. The versatile capucine can be carried with the flap out or tucked inside. Now this bag is 3,450 and yes, it is expensive, but it is a stunner. I really, really love this bag. I've always loved the uh, capucines and I just think it's an elegant, really beautiful bag. And I'm just looking at the details as I'm flicking through here and you can see them on the screen. It is just a beauty and yeah, I think that one is going to do really, really, really well. So moving on to number three, I have gone for the Neo Alma or Neo Alma BB. And this one is in the supple monogram Empreant leather and it has the rounded top handles and it transitions so beautifully from day to evening. And the lining is in a contrasting color, like a mustard yellow. It is stunning. It is 1,680 euro. And I just think this bag, if anybody was gonna go for an Alma BB, if you wanna go for the original, absolutely, that's up to you. But it's funny actually, because the Empreant leather, it, leather, it took me a while to kind of get into it. And I have to say in this, bag in particular, like I was offered the Pochette Matisse in the um, Empreant leather and I refused it because I wanted that bag in the monogram and I still love it in the monogram. Actually, the Pochette Matisse also comes in the in this jacquard textile as well. And I'd put a picture up here. I'm not mad on it, to be honest, in that. It, it's funny, because the, the materials suit some style bags and just don't suit other style bags. And in this case, the Empreant leather is stunning in the Alma BB. Moving on from there, another beauty. Um, I have seen this bag, actually, Hello Catwalk City has it, the Speedy BB. 
and it this bag I think is gorgeous if I didn't have my mini speedy um, HL and if I didn't have my vanity PM I might go for this bag because this bag has the strap the same strap as my vanity PM it is in this black cast or lambskin lambskin leather it is so beautiful and the monogram is embossed onto the actual lambskin it is a stunning bag it's 2030 euro and it has the rolled handles again and it has the pad the engraved padlock and the monogram luggage tag it is an elegant elevated stunning stunning piece and i have to say i'm very tempted because it's lambskin i just say it is i'd love to actually feel it I, it just looks soft and beautiful and luxurious and fabulous and yeah for 2030 says you it would want to now the last pick and my number five pick of my five favorite louis vuitton new bags that i would buy tomorrow is the dauphine mm it is stunning again in the since 1854 um textile material again it is that blue against the contrast of the aged trimmed leather and it is so elegant the chain strap on this is to die for it is a beauty of a bag i have to say and i just love the whole as i said the story that the you know that's when the house opened was in 1854 i just love that it's a reference to the year it's an elegant design it has numerous compartments inside removable strap and so it is a great everyday bag i love this combination i have to say 2920 yes it is pricey but it is beautiful and i've always admired the dauphine bag i have to say i've just never pulled the trigger and really really love this combination um i know denim has been hugely in between say a lot of the chanel's and some of the louis vuitton vintage pieces a lot of people are buying them i know mel sedora actually hi mel um she loves the the combination of the denim and has lots of vintage pieces if you want to check her channel out but this is stunning for 2920 and I would definitely buy it in a heartbeat if I didn't have all my other pieces so they're my five top picks of what I would buy I'd love to know what you think of them if you like them if you don't like them if you're into that um, 1854 textile uh, print as I said I'm not mad on it it also comes in black and white it also comes in red I think I've seen it in red and white and some green I don't like it in any of those prints I really or colors I really don't I just love it in this blue. I just think it's classy and elegant and absolutely stunning. And actually other, a couple of other pieces that I do like in this particular color and this particular textile, if you wanna have a look, are the Toiletry 26 and that comes in at 585. And then the cosmetic pouch is also in this beautiful, beautiful print and it's 385 euros. They're stunning actually, I only saw them today absolutely gorgeous and also what comes in this beautiful print and looks amazing in it if you're into it is the petite sac plat i never pull the trigger on that one either i know a lot of people have uh, raved about it it was really really trendy last year in 2020 and um, i think a lot of people use it for their phones and different things like that let me know if you have it but have a look check it out in this beautiful blue contrast with the aged trimmed leather which is going to be so durable obviously because if it rains and things like that it's going to be absolutely fine and I'm sure I haven't checked but I'm sure that that material is protected in some way maybe there's a canvas over it or something like that but just stunning pieces and yeah they are what I would buy if I didn't already have the pieces that I have and you never know we could be investing in the future so let me know what you think I'd love to know for me they are little stunning pieces and I'm excited to see if any of you have them and until next time I might do if you like maybe some of the Louis Vuitton pieces I would absolutely never buy and I think are really ugly and I think are a waste of money. If you liked that video, let me know down below. In the meantime, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.